Good morning, beautiful people. How are you? Happy Monday, April 24th, almost at the end of April. Time is a flying, time is a flying. I say this every time because I just can't believe how fast time is flying. <sighs> Anywho, when we talk about April, we think, okay, springtime, right? But for us Winnipeggers, not quite. I hear we're getting five to 10 centimeters of snow today. So it is what it is, but uh, born and raised here, so I'm quite used to it. And typically really, it's not until after May long weekend that if it snows after May long weekend, then you're like, okay, something's around, right? Something's sketchy. So this is nothing really, to be honest. Because when you think about a few years ago, a few years ago, like 20 years ago, with the uh, flood of 97, okay? It's because we had a ton of snow that year. So it works out, it checks out. I'm just not excited about it. And I still have my winter tires on, so that's okay. <laughs> um, what else? Okay, busy week, busy, busy week. It was great. I went to the Lovesick screening, which is a movie that was made completely in Winnipeg. And I had the opportunity to be on the red carpet and interview a few awesome folks, especially Adam Beach. Oh my God, I love him. He is awesome. And now he's on my Instagram and we're engaging and interacting with each other. Love it. That's the whole purpose of these things is to make those connections to network and of course continue to stay in contact, right? Because anything he's doing from now on, I will absolutely promote just because of the connection we made and he's such a down-to-earth fun kind of guy right so and his family summer and phoenix beautiful beautiful it was awesome i loved it so yeah so the red carpet was fantastic tons of people there um uh, royal canoe was there they did a live performance and then of course there was a ton of of uh, officials and ministers and all those kind of things minister of culture and all that and it was just a great time i'm really happy to be invited to those types of things because you just start to connect with more people in the city and that's my whole thing that's my claim to fame if you will so that was great uh, and then later on in the week i went to a media preview of dun, 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 the outlet collection mall first of its kind in winnipeg it is near the ikea uh, Keniston and Sterling Lion Parkway and let me tell you guys when I pulled up I was like oh yeah okay whatever <laughs> then when I went inside oh my gosh it's like wow it's beautiful it's going to be beautiful it is massive it is I just can't wait to see the finished product so it's still in active construction mode and they have two weeks to finish it because the grand opening is May 3rd. So that's Wednesday, May 3rd, 10 a.m. They have a ton of great door crashers, giveaways, money giveaways. I think the first 1,000 people, no matter what, you get a $30 gift card. And then on the hour, every hour, they're giving away $1,000. Hello? And then for the first, I think, four or five days after opening, $1,000 every day they're giving away. So I believe they have something called a winner's circle where they have a whole bunch of little iPads set up that you can log in and register your name and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, But it's not just about the prizes and the, 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 door, the door crashers and all that kind of stuff. It's all the new stores that are coming to Winnipeg that we've never had before. There is a beautiful food hall. I won't call it a food court. And it has seating for 675 people. They have smart carts for your, your little ones, your toddlers. They have like a little iPad that they can play games on while you're shopping. Um, beautiful facilities for guest services, the washrooms. Uh, top notch, top notch. But like I said, I can't believe they still only have two weeks to finish it all up. It was, it's massive, it's gorgeous. We're gonna have a designer shoe warehouse. There's gonna be winners, Nike. Old Navy outlet, a whole whack load of stuff. The list will be put on my blog today because I, I really think it's important that everyone checks this out. It is great for our city. It'll be a good um, attraction as well. So yeah, that's going to be crazy. I plan on being there just to get footage of the lineups. That's all I want to do is get footage of the lineups. I'll shop on my own some, some other time later on, but uh, I definitely want to check out uh, all the folks in Winnipeg to see who shows up that day. So yeah, I might have to 
flex my day at work a little. <laughs> Anywho, um, what else happened this week? Uh, oh my gosh, busy weekend, of course. I had uh, My son had the dentist. I had a bridal shower to go to. My son turned five yesterday, and he's like this big man now. It was great. We had a beautiful day. We went mini golfing, and we went um, and we shot, shot balls at the driving range, of course. So he, that was his choice his choice so we did that and it was great and now we're at the beginning of a new week so what's going on taxes who hasn't done their taxes yet um yeah I need to get it together but I I do them every year I do my family's taxes as well and it's just uh one of those things where mm, I'm procrastinating <laughs> <laughs> but I shouldn't, I know. I do it on I do it every it's it's fine. It's fine. Your taxes are due May 1st, folks. So that's this upcoming weekend. I believe it will be the Monday, I guess, because the 29th is Saturday, yes. So your taxes are due next week, Monday, a week from today. If you haven't done it, get on it. I use TurboTax for my taxes. I've been using that for oh gosh, years now. Years and years and years, and it's done well for me. So just a shout out to everybody to get their taxes done. Just making sure. Um, what else happened? What else happened? Oh, yesterday. Oh, I just want to give a little shout out to Little Brown Jug Brewing Company. They are downtown and they just had their grand opening yesterday. I missed the grand opening, but I wanted to give them a shout out and make sure you guys check them out. They're on William and uh, they're kind of near the Red River campus there and another craft brewery and another great little spot to, to hang out. So kudos to them. What else is happening? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Winnipeg Wine Fest, yes. Winnipeg Wine Fest is coming up this weekend. I know there are always, all of the, the smaller events sell out quite quickly. And I'll have a list of those on the blog too for those who aren't aware. There are a couple of main events, the, the big event on the weekend of course. So I haven't decided which part of it I'm going to yet, but I'm definitely going to step in and check out something because you know I love my wine. <laughs> Hello. Oh, boy. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, oh, my gosh. I forgot to say this past weekend, I headed down to the running room on Keniston and picked up my Brooks running shoes for the run for women, which I will be doing on Mother's Day with my daughter. I'm super excited, pumped up. So now I have the proper gear that I need to uh, to make sure I can puff and puff it out with my daughter that day. So I'm hoping that the weather will cooperate because I don't do well when it's chilly to run when it's cold. My extremities do not like to be cold. So <laughs> I would probably have to be running outside with these big mitts. If you see me running outside with big mitts, then, then you know it's me. Look for the hair in the mitts. Uh, because I just hate running when it's cold outside. So I'm really hoping the weather starts to turn around because i got to break in my new runners. And also because it's beautiful to run outside when it's nice outside, right? Yeah, so that's the Run for Women. It's put on by Shoppers Drug Mart. And it's across the country. And it benefits and supports a variety of mental health um, initiatives and other charities as well so this one for Winnipeg is in support of the Mood Disorders Association of Manitoba and so I'm very excited to to help support that cause because of my own anxiety that I've experienced my daughter has also experienced anxiety and depression um, lots of family members lots of friends who have gone through stuff like that so to be able to support them is is really great and the fact that it's on Mother's Day I'll be doing it with my daughter and in support and memory of my mom so quick story uh, when I went to get the the registration for the run I couldn't believe that when I was looking through the list of some of the runners there's a woman who has my mom's maiden name so her full name but just spelled differently. So to me, that was a sign that I need to do this race. I need to be in this run. It's my first official run. I hope I can make it all the way through running. I may have to stop a little bit and walk, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, my my training so far at Orange Theory Fitness has been great. So I think I will have a good chance of running pretty much all the way through. And I'm looking forward to it. It's it's significant. It's going to be fun. So for those of you that are, are going to be in the run for women, let me know. I'd love to take a picture with you and say hello and meet and connect. 
okay um what else what else uh da, 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 da. oh yes cjob the main ingredient on saturday i i think it'll be a live show i'm not really sure but myself and my very good old friend here kevin bergen him and i will be chatting on cjob the main ingredient that radio show so listen out for that as i have more details i will also post them on the blog so that you are aware and can join in listen ask questions i think i don't know i'll uh i'll check that out with him but um be sure to check out cjob the main ingredient it's a great radio show and kevin is hilarious and he's awesome he's doing great things in the city as well so all right i am almost at work so I've chatted off your ear yet again, but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I know I'm missing all sorts of stuff, but because I literally could talk to you guys for hours on end because that's just how I roll. But there's always stuff happening. There's positive things occurring. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I almost forgot. One other thing I did this weekend. I set up a um, Instagram account slash community for anyone with natural hair. So in Winnipeg. So I have set up Winnipeg Naturals, WPG Naturals on Instagram and on Facebook. I'm in the process of uploading some graphics right now. And I hope to profile and feature local um, folks in Winnipeg, men or women, who are rocking their natural hair here in Winnipeg. Because I feel like our community kind of doesn't get... Um, uh, we don't get to connect and we don't get to network and it's just like once in a while you see someone walking by and you're like Oh, I love your hair. What kind of products do you use? Da, 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 right? Um, I would love to showcase that here in Winnipeg because every other major city uh, is doing it in uh, Across the provinces and so I think it's our time and I would love to showcase your hair so if you wear your hair natural in its natural state um, please let me know and the email is WPG Naturals, or no, actually it's Winnipeg Naturals, the full word Winnipeg Naturals at gmail.com. Otherwise, just hit me up on the Instagram, WPG Naturals, okay? Don't forget, don't forget. And we'll create a community, maybe we could do meetups. I'm hoping to, to have a little mini hair conference here and get some of our local hairdressers and hairstylists that I'm clearly not aware of because I only know of, I think, two people that might do natural hair in Winnipeg. I wanna make sure we, we share that. We all deserve to know who's doing what here in the city. So it's all about positive energy, positive vibes, sharing all the wonderful stuff that goes on in the city. And I just wanna be a part of that. Right, right. Okay, so now I'm done talking. <laughs> Oh gosh, I need help. Um, now I'm done talking. I'm almost at work anyways. About to drive into a dark parkade and you don't want to see none of that. So, I hope you all have a fabulous week. Like I said, anytime, please hit me up, message me. If there's something you want me to shout out for you, promote, whatever. Um, not only do I have an events page, but I also have... Um, uh, various connections and social media etc as you all know and so let me know I'll, I'll uh, work it out with you okay and Mother's Day is coming up so stay tuned for my Mother's Day gift idea guide if you're a local business that wants to be featured you have products to feature please head to my blog pegcitylovely.com on the right hand side there's a graphic for Mother's Day and the information there to make your submission is there okay so have a fabulous week guys love ya be good to each other don't forget, that will be my mantra every single time I chat with you. Okay? So be good. Have a great week, and we'll talk soon. Bye!